Galileo Mining has made an incredible discovery. Drill hole 266 has hit an incredible 33 meter intercept of 2 grams per tonne platinum group elements with 0.32% copper and 0.3% nickel. These grades, I believe, clearly represent economic mineralization. What I find most exciting about this discovery is that it could be part of a much larger ore body. As you can see from the cross section, grades and whips are increasing towards the east. Therefore, Galileo may potentially find more high grade mineralization towards the east. However, keep in mind that there's absolutely no guarantee of this. What's also interesting is that this deposit is directly below their existing Mount Thirsty nickel and cobalt resource. This might be advantageous as it would reduce the strip ratio when mining the sulphide deposit. Upcoming use flow for Galileo includes pending assays in approximately six weeks. Visual logs for these holes also included disseminated sulphides, which indicates that they should be mineralized. However, unfortunately, perhaps not to the same extent as hole 266, which was prioritized for assay. Galileo will also perform downhole EM, which may provide further insights into the orientation of the mineralized body. Galileo will also submit core from 266 for rhodium assays. If rhodium assays are significant, this could result in a rise in the share price, as rhodium is eight times more expensive than gold. Rhodium has previously been detected at the Norseman project, so there is prospectivity for rhodium. On this slide, you can see the nickel cobalt resource outline, and you can also see that the newly discovered sulfide mineralization is coincident with the prospective contact, which has a five kilometer strike length, meaning this could potentially be a very large resource. This chart shows the nickel cobalt resource at the current extraordinarily high nickel and cobalt prices, this deposit would probably be commercially viable to mine. Given the share price more than doubled overnight since the discovery, you might usually expect a downward trend. However, in this case, seeing as the company has potentially made a major discovery and has further catalyst pending, there may potentially be more upside to the share price if further drill programs are successful. In terms of upside potential, Chellis's share price went up 50 times since the discovery of its Julemar deposit, which is also a nickel PGE deposit. And I've also included the chart of Cobalt Blue, which demonstrates the hype surrounding Cobalt. Another interesting fact is that the project is located on an existing mining lease. Therefore, if the discovery is part of a larger system, we could potentially see the accelerated development of the project.